gentlemen, this is Pro Open. Let's meet the players. What'd you say, Ms. Nikki? Courtesy. What's that? Courtesy is the key. Courtesy, yes, yes. Nobody showed you lack of courtesy, did they? That's it. Oh, no. Always been given time and training. The L plates, learner plates. Good words to live by. Prophetic words here, guys. We've got less than favorable track conditions and some of the most powerful motorcycles on the planet. This class is known as Pro Open and it's appropriately named because anything goes. Turbos, nitrous, we will see it all. The pro street bikes struggled to get down the racetrack, but these monsters have giant slicks and wheelie bars. We'll see if that helps push them into the mid six second zone. Settle in. This one's gonna be a great show from South Georgia Motorsports Park on a dewy, foggy, damp night. And there is the fast Canadian, John Gosselin, the defending champion. To give you an idea of how adverse conditions are, there's Mark Rendelou. He is the owner of the world's quickest Suzuki Hayabusa. We will see him in this video. We'll also see the world's fastest female, Nikki Zak, who we talked to moments ago, but look at how ominous and slick that track looks. Let's get this party started. That is Rob GR, the former AMA Pro Star Funny Bike Champion. He is a longtime veteran. That motorcycle is a KC GS hybrid, old school, but it is fast. In the other lane, Sean Gosling and the Brokus Drag Bikes DTM Turbo GS. Sean used to be a nitrous racer, now he's a turbo racer, and the fast Canadian has been making a lot of noise. Let's watch. GR, Gosselin's on a pass. Scoreboard says 642 to 17. What a way to start things off. Wow. Remember that number. The Canadian has set the bar awfully high here. 642, first bike out of the gate. And we continue with Jason German and the no bar Suzuki DME Turbo Hayabusa. As you'll see, no bar bikes are welcome to compete in this category. He takes on Rob Garcia, another very tough competitor up and coming in this category with his Turbo Suzuki GS out of Pennsylvania. Jason German out of Puerto Rico. See if anybody can beat that 42. Garcia right down Broadway, top end. Garcia, nice pass for him. How about a 652, 217 miles an hour? A little bit down on ET, but right up there with speed. Wow, I told you this would be a thrilling session. Looks like we're on hold for a second. Don't worry guys, we've got the world's fastest female coming up, we've got the world's fastest Hayabusa, and we've got Larry Hayes in a throwback, old school Honda. Check this thing out, it is cool. What do you know about this bike? Let us know in the comments if you ever had one. It broke. How you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing fine. Definitely one of the most unique pro open bikes. What is this again? The 750 Swing Low Head Cam Honda. Gotta love it. Why the Honda? Because I had it, and that's time to go racing. I can't wait forever. I'm 70 years old. God bless you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's as simple as that, huh? You gotta commend Larry Hayes at age 70 out there having some fun. Uh oh. Backing it off to cool down? What's that? Are you backing it off to cool down or are you yeah. having problems? No, I'm backing it off to cool down. Cool down. So I want to know in the comments, 
Do you think that 642 will hold up or will we see somebody go low? Especially this man. This is the world's quickest Suzuki Hayabusa of the skeleton, Mark Brenda Luke. contrast and this is why you have to love Pro Open. Everything about Larry Hayes' Honda screams old school. Everything about Brenda Luke's Hayabusa screams cutting edge. Very intriguing. You can see it only here. Enjoy. On a pass, that Busa looking to take out the GS. Will it be the night of the Hayabusa? Top end of the racetrack, 643, another 217 pass. He just missed it by one hundredth of a second. Give it to the GS fans. But here comes the world's fastest female from Australia. This has been astounding. Will the world's fastest female show us a run in the 640s or better? Nikki Zack out of Team Lucas Oil comes from Sydney, Australia with a talented woman named Castleberry. Definitely somebody to watch. A woman who has aspirations of entering top fuel motorcycle someday. Get set to take on Turbo GS alongside her out of Brody Strag Lights and Williford Racing. Nikki, Nikki keeps that throttle locked, top end, Nikki Zach, 658, look at the mile an hour, she clicked it, good, good run nonetheless. Wayne, what'd you see there? We're still tuning, we, we're trying to get the tire to come in, so we, uh, we'll throw some more horsepower to it and try again tomorrow. Good way to start, huh? Yep, there you go. A to B, A to B. there with his tuner Dan Wagner out of team growth is drag bikes showboat trying to come for his teammate and run under Dawson 642. Sounded expensive, my friends. You hear there, Ed? I don't know, man. It just didn't sound like it wanted to shift. Heads up, Ed. Let's get the lowdown from Ed Grothis. I got on the rev limiter. I obviously got on the rev limiter, I think, uh, at the top of second or third. And then Shane must have tried buttoning it, and lifted a bit, and uh, finally took a gear, and then got back in it, and the boost was crazy. and. Just not a lap we're real proud of. So. You anticipate any damage after a situation like that? Well, you, you, you never know. Um, I guess the first thing we'll have to look at is is the transmission. You know, when it doesn't shift under power like that and you lift out of the throttle, you run the risk of, of, of hurting the transmission. So, you know what, that's uh, I think the fourth lap on the bike. First lap was a, a solid lap, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll go back and see what we find. Well, let's hope that wasn't too expensive for Shane Epperjesi. Fuck 
Well, as you can tell, adrenaline's running high. This crew is keeping it locked to the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. I hope you do the same. And I hope you really enjoyed this inside look at Pro Open in some of the most treacherous conditions we have ever seen. It did not seem to affect these bikes like it did the Pro Street bikes. That's also a video I want you to please check out on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. We are here. We are your boredom cure for social distancing. Keep it locked, share this channel around, and we'll give you as much entertainment as we can. We got the sweet taste of victory over here in the winner's circle. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. We're celebrating 100,000 subscribers. Yes, Steve is one of them. Thank you, Steve. Please refer your friends. Remember, as many people as we can get to subscribe to this channel, the more exposure we can give great motorsports individuals. Thank you guys for watching. That is Cycle Drag on YouTube, CycleDrag.com on Facebook. Let's keep it going. Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, the legend is here. How are you doing, sir? I'm cycle dragging, I'm cycle dragging. That's what I'm doing, cycle dragging forever and ever and ever. You are the man, sweep the leg, right? Sweep the leg, no mercy, and cycle dragging. Indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please leave us your feedback. Let us know what you're doing now that races are on hold for a little bit with the coronavirus. We won't be on hold here. All you got to do is like, comment, share, subscribe, share with your friends. And you know, each and every day, we'll keep bringing you the most impressive motorcycles and action in motorsports in the world. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there. Cycle Drag rolls on.